So this is my future pulling pad area, I hope. Um, it's about four and a half feet wide, maybe five, I don't know. And uh, probably 50 feet long, I don't know. Um, but I've been working at it for, you know, a couple months now. And it's getting to the point where it's pretty compacted and flat and straight and everything uh, is pretty close to being ready to go. Um, really all I need to do is get a, uh, a pallet and a nice big water tank and some chains and I'll be all ready to start pulling. <clears throat> this is where the Sears 8XL, I think it's part two of playing in the dirt. I think uh, I think it's part two, but this is where that was going. That was probably March or April, and that's when I began working on all this. And uh, it's coming along pretty nice, you know. I have some uh, things that the SS16, you know, it needs to be fixed. Uh, the starter, I need to hit the starter with a hammer because the little plastic starting gear isn't popping out on its own. Um, the snow plow needs a new cutting. Actually, I'll just put it up for a sec. But, let's see, uh, this, this is all abused by the previous owner. So I'm going to take that one off, drill holes in the plow, and uh, put a wider cutting edge on it to compensate for the wear. Um, it started running a little bit weird at the end of the video, actually, when I was, right before I throttled up and putting it in reverse, it started to go weird. I don't know, it's, uh, when I rebuilt the carburetor for the last time, um, and, uh, <clears throat> switched out the floats, I did not put a fuel filter back in because I was just so worried about it running. Um, so what I'll do is the pull for 4-H is uh, on Saturday and I need to take this tractor there on Wednesday so I really only have today Monday and Tuesday to work on it and uh, so I think what I'll do is tomorrow I'll take the air filter off go through the carb again carefully so I don't tear this float uh, clean the idle screws adjust it perfectly put a fuel filter in whole nine yards um, so, there's a little bit of work that needs to be done on it, but I think it's uh, coming along pretty nicely. So, uh, let me know what you think.